Greetings Storm Rage and welcome to the 100 plus members that have joined us in the last month. Uh, if you're just not hearing about us or joining us, you're joining a team with a crazy long legacy going, or crazy great legacy going back to last August. Um, if you want a full history, I'll add a link to the video, but just to give you a quick overview, I'm gonna break everything down to like phases of the group since when I created it to now. So starting things off, originally it was a secret group. It was only people I met, people I knew that were defending gyms in, my, in this area, around 192 Southern Orlando. And uh, we did that for months. People, we were coordinating gyms. Oh, this gym went down. I remember original videos were me on the bus going through every single gym, being like, because there was no gym hunter. We were always keeping each other updated on what gyms were down, what gyms were up, and building them back up quickly. Um, then those original players they kind of started to leave and we're like okay well we need to recruit might as well grow what we're doing is working because we're keeping only gyms level 10 let's just try and expand it because we've done a great job so far so that's what we did closed the group more recruiting brought more people in and uh started you know hitting more areas hunters creek more downtown Kissimmee, down closer to downtown orlando some parts of you know the, the rest of part of the city well, that was going for a while, and then, you know, this was a really interesting time because on our wall, very different from that, now all of our wall was just, here's a gym with one Pokemon in it, it's going to be like level 8 or 9, and everything else is empty. It's like Ditto Strat, Gassy Strat, Bubble Strat, whatever it was. We were just always building gyms. I have about 10,000 times trained personally. Um, that's what we did. We built gyms for each other. We worked as a team. All right, then um, the trainer test video with the raid actually brought a whole other surge of recruitment. Um, they're like, yo, there's this, there's this group. We were doing like smaller raids, like three, four people, five people, just hanging gym after gym and building them up. Or doing a lot of solo stuff too. Um, but like, people were like, yo, we should do this. You know, we saw with the Mystic War Party we were doing, we were seeing like other groups were doing, like, all right, you know what? We can do this. We have the, <laughs> we have amazing players. Let's just start raiding. So that's what we did. Um, we, at that point, the, at that point in the team, we were hitting Winter Garden, taking over that whole city. And the whole thing was yellow. Um, Hunter's Creek, downtown Kissing, we're taking out more and more of that. It was very, very yellow. <laughs> um, we were kicking out botters from like Florida Mall, going all over the city, having lure parties, Disney Springs, great time. And then um, recently, that gym we work hit killed the competitive, competitive nature of gyms, but then they introduced raids at the same time. So, I guess it was kind of their switch off, but. That kind of left me, I was like, okay, so what do we do now? Well, personal, I just started a new job, got new roommates, I was like, okay, this is a crazy time for me last month. Well, here we are now, things are starting to settle down, I'm starting to see, yeah, Niantic still as unpredictable as ever, they're going to do whatever Niantic does, but there's still a huge community there and a lot of potential for fun, good stories, all that kind of stuff. So, my, my goal, my personal passion is you know making videos exploring stuff and that's what I'm gonna do. Going back to original Storm Rage where I was making videos, talking about guides, making guides, that sort of stuff. This I'm not gonna focus so much on guides, this is gonna be more of a vlog style video um in the future, some gameplay, um just getting to know different players, like giving you an eye into hardcore instinct, down like a semi, this sort of area. Now I wanna explore the rest of the city. You know, I wanna go to UCF, I wanna go to Winter Garden, I wanna go see these parts of the city. Um, and you know I'll, I'll be I'll be getting over there, but for now, yeah, this this is what I'm setting up. I'm gonna get a YouTube channel going. Um, gonna start getting the assets ready for that. Once I get all those assets ready, I'll start putting this and, and we'll get some content, of course, um, thumbnails, all that sort of stuff. I'll be putting it on the Pokemon Go Orlando and making videos for everyone. So, uh, yeah, this morning right now. I did some uh, raids, we're going to do some more, we got a bunch of our level 40s, Val, Legoman, Dylan, Lewis, Vio Franco, they're all, <laughs> the, the, the core, the, the group, um, they're all tearing up, Kissimmee right now, getting raid after raid, I just want to get this video out for you guys, saying this is where it starts, right now, um, I want to do a few videos a week, um, just all kinds of different stuff, so, prepare some more communication for me, um, Right now I'm going to go film some of the raids that we're doing, how our style is, what it's look like to look like when a um, you know, big group or hardcore group gets together. Alright? Um, whatever, maybe. So in the comments of this video, I wanted to see what you guys, what makes you passionate about Pokemon Go? 
and you join the team, you join Team Storm Rage, or you know whatever, whatever whoever's watching this video. Um, what do you love about Pokemon Go? What do you remember? What are you looking for? Like for me, I love exploring the city. I love strategy and just being active, like rocking, getting eggs, that kind of stuff, and seeing and staying, um, staying moving. To, to give you an idea, this is one of the coolest sort of moments I had. Was back, I lived in Hunter Street for a short time, um, living with a friend, and he. And I was running at the time. I was running around the city, just exploring different spots. And I saw there was a nature trail behind the school. I was like, oh, that's cool. Let's just, let's just go on the nature trail. So it's like, so I went down this nature trail, saw this really cool looking, it was like this out of place pine forest in the middle of Florida. I was like, oh, well, not necessarily out of place, but I was like, oh, wow, this is, you know, interesting. It's an interesting little trail, nice little hike. And then later on, I'm playing Pokemon Go, seeing all the gyms, and I'm like, what's that trail marker in the middle of nowhere? And I was like, oh my god, I know how to get to that gym. It's way out in the middle of nowhere behind this pool that you walk forever to get. And uh, that's like cost of spoofers, but anyway. Um, yeah, just that kind of stuff. Like, I was playing Pokemon Go before Pokemon Go was a thing. That's, that's the way I think about it. And I was like, perfect. All right. Well, anyway, like I said, let me know, let me comment, what is your passion in Pokemon Go? Is it, is it competitiveness? Is it, you know, seeing your Pokemon on top of that gym? Is it getting the strongest Mon? Whatever it is, let me know. I'm curious. Anyway, um, there is no shelter from the storm. <laughs>